away from personal issues and start thinking of what all these folks here want. Words spoken before city commissioners in Electra chose tonight to let their police chief go. Hello everyone, I'm Daryl Franklin. Thanks so much for joining us. Gwen's off tonight. Two days after interim city administrator Mike Price resigned his position in Electra, city commissioners there are removing police chief Michael Hopkins. And that marks the second time within the past year and a half city commissioners have voted to remove the current police chief. Former Chief Hopkins began his career with Electra Law Enforcement after graduating the Vernon College Police Academy in 2002. He worked as a patrol officer for six years, was promoted to deputy chief in February 2014, and finally was promoted again to chief in August 2014. Stephanie Garland was at that meeting tonight, and Stephanie, what reason did city commissioners give for firing Chief Hopkins? You know, Daryl, they didn't give one, even after residents asked repeatedly. Residents in Electra are outraged at what they are calling the latest travesty, firing Police Chief Michael Hopkins. See, I've been here 70 years, and it, this is the biggest hoax I've ever seen. You need to be worried about other things. Water lines. In repair streets. Yeah. 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 That's what you need to be focused on instead of trying to destroy the life of a man. This police chief has done more for our young kids Amen. and seen them grow up and helped them and Amen. guided them along. And now we're going to turn around and knife him in the back. Several times, former Chief Hopkins and citizens alike asked for a motive behind this decision. The county was out of here within five months of me taking the deputy chief's position was given the chief's position a little over a year ago. And I don't know any more than y'all know about tonight, I was given an agenda Monday. We do have a say of who we vote on mm -hmm. to make these decisions. I think we deserve to know if there's something that's so egregious that you're considering this move. What is the reason that I'm being released, that you want me released? Why, what is it? In the best interest of the city of Electra. That is not true. No. 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 It's a personal vendetta. You know, it's not his fault that we owe the sheriff's department three hundred and five thousand yeah. dollars, or that we had to pay this man a hundred and twenty thousand yeah. dollars, yeah. or that you don't like him. City commissioners went through each position at the Electra Police Department. I've asked for a motion to reappoint Michael Hopkins as police chief, assistant lieutenant, assistant deputy chief. Officer. Before ultimately removing him from his office. Make the motion we it. Oh. At a two to one vote, it was not unanimous, and former Chief Hopkins says it did not abide by Electra City Charter. Such removal can only be made upon a unanimous vote. Hopkins' observation was promptly ignored as city commissioners chose to adjourn. Then, Electra residents had plenty to say. In fact, if somebody wants to buy a house on Main Street, I'll sure sell it. I just, I don't want to be here. It used to be a wonderful town. And these people have got a vendetta. They come in here with a vendetta and they proved it tonight. All residents I spoke with today say they'll be passing around a petition to get rid of the current commission who, except for place three, that's Commissioner Linda Lynn, they voted to release Chief Hopkins, Daryl. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. While Mayor Pam Moore